working through some examples with planes and lines. I'm told a plane consists of these two lines and passes through this point. Find the equation of the plane. Now, it doesn't specify the form of the plane, so we just need to find any equation of this plane. So if I think about these lines, I have line R1 here, and I have some line R2 here. I don't know if they actually intersect, but I do know that if these the plane contains, oh, if they do are on the same plane, they, they will intersect somewhere. But this direction vector here, this one here, is 3 minus 2, 4. And this direction vector here for this line is 1, 1, 1. And so these direction vectors of the lines represent the vectors for the plane in vector form. All I need is a point. So my plane will be R is equal to my point. I'm going to choose this point here, 2, 1, 3, plus some parameter. I'll use, I'll use lambda. Lambda will be this direction vector, 3 minus 2, 4, plus mu. This direction here is 1, 1, 1. This is the vector form of the line. It doesn't specify the type, so this is satisfactory. Answers the question. Let's do another example. We have this plane pi 1 as this particular equation, and this is in scalar product form. Okay, we want to find the distance of, me of the plane from the origin. Well, I know that if this vector here, which is normal, this is a normal, if this is a unit vector, then the, dis the d value is the distance from the origin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the magnitude of the normal. The magnitude of the normal is 2 squared plus 0 squared plus minus 1 squared, which is the square root of 5. And so if I take this equation and rewrite it, I get r dot 1 over root 5 times 2, 0, minus 1. If I multiply this side by 1 over root 5, I multiply this side by 1 over root 5. And so the distance to the origin is equal to 7 over root 5, which is 7 root 5 over 5 units. That's the distance to the origin. B part says, find the equation of plane 2, which is parallel to plane 1, but passes through this point. All right, so if I have a plane, and I have another plane that's parallel to it, this normal vector has to be a scalar multiple or parallel to this normal vector. Well, in B part, if I know the normal vector for the first plane is 2, 0, minus 1, that's the normal vector, dot some value r, it will equal to d. So I can use my point negative 1, 2, 5, dot negative 1, 2, 5 will equal d. And I end up with negative 2 plus 0 minus 5 is d, which is negative 7. And so my equation will be 2, 0, negative 1 dot x, y, z is equal to negative 7. This is parallel to the first plane and through the point negative 1, 2, 5. That's plane 2. The next question says, find the distance of plane 2 from the origin. Well, same premise. We're looking for the distance now. We know the distance. Again, the magnitude of this value is, I know, root 5. The distance of my normal is root 5. So I'm going to multiply this equation by 1 over 
root 5, 2, 0, minus 1, dot x, y, z, equals negative 7 over root 5. And so this is the distance to the origin from plane 2. So the distance, oh, this is uh, not distance, magnitude. The distance to the origin of plane 2 is 7 over root 5, which is 7 root 5 over 5. Now, but this isn't a negative value. And so the total distance, if I look, think about d part, hence find the distance between plane 1 and plane 2. Well, they're on opposite sides of the origin. The distance between plane 1 and plane 2 is going to be, well, the one side is 7 root 5 over 5. That's, here's the origin. Here's 7 root 5 over 5. And the other one is on the other side of the origin. So, which is also a 7 root 5 over 5. And I know that because this value is negative. And so when I add these two fractions up, I get 14 root 5 over 5 is the distance between the two planes. So we can take our scalar product form and the idea of unit vectors. And if this normal vector is a unit vector, this value is the distance from the origin.